That's it. Oh my god. YouTubers meet up. <laughs> my voice is already gone because I've been screaming to music all night and dancing. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I am so so excited right now because do you know what today is? I'm sure some of you can guess because you can see my ball gown slightly off to the side of my camera but it is May ball day so I've been going on about this for so long but it is the Jesus College Cambridge May ball um, which is basically a big party that the college throws to celebrate all of its students finishing their exams. Now you might be wondering Emma you finished your exams two years ago, you graduated two years ago, why are you attending this ball? Well one, alumni are actually allowed to attend the ball, so because I used to go to the college, I'm allowed to come back every year, and two, I never actually got my celebration ball because of COVID. So the tickets got rolled over one year, and then COVID was still with us, and then they got rolled over another year. So this is two years worth of postponed balls that I am having this week, so I've got the Jesus College May Ball today, it's Monday, and then Pembroke College May Ball on Wednesday because you are actually allowed to, to attend other colleges May Balls during May week, which is the name of the week we use to celebrate finishing exams and, you know, graduating or um, making it through another year at Cambridge, basically. And I'm about to start getting ready for it and I've given myself two hours because I like to do my hair, I like to do my makeup, I like to go a bit glam, get all dressed up because it is such an event. There will be drink stalls, food stalls, a silent disco, um, dodgems, a ferris wheel, like carnival rides, um, there'll be music artists performing. I don't know if any of you guys know Foxes or Sagala, the DJ, they're both performing this year. When I was a student, um, Scouting for Girls and the Hoosiers actually headlined, which is just insane. They are such huge bands, so it is always a massive party and I'm really, really excited. I've got my t cup of tea ready, trying to like stay upbeat. I've had a little nap because it does start at 8 p.m. and finishes at 5 a.m. So I need to keep my energy up and keep going. So I had a little 3 p.m. nap, now having a cup of tea because there's no coffee in the house and I need some caffeine to keep my spirits up. And I'll show you my finished look once I'm ready. So this is my setup. I've got all of my makeup bags, my eyeshadow palettes, brushes, moisturizers. This is me, hello, in my mirror. Cup of tea, essential. And just trying to keep my space clear so when I get everything out, I like know where to grab the right eyeshadow palettes and things, but I do not know what I'm doing with my makeup look yet. I haven't decided, so I'm kind of just winging it. Something pink, something soft glam, I think. final makeup look. I wanted to go for something a little bit more natural, a little bit more soft glam this year because normally I do like really heavy glitter, a cut crease, like dark in the inner, in the outer corner, but I just thought this is quite a an elegant soft pink, baby pink dress, quite light and ditzy and I kind of wanted the makeup to match that and didn't want to do it, you know, oh, didn't want to go overboard with my makeup this year. So I think I've gone with the less is more approach and I've got my Swarovski um, earrings and ring and bracelet on um, that match the colour of the dress. I don't know if you can see, it's slightly pink. I'm not sure it's going to focus on the ring. There we are. Um, these were a graduation gift from my parents, even though I never actually got the ceremony. But I figured this was the most suitable time to wear them because one, they go with my dress perfectly and two, these are my belated graduation celebrations so it feels fitting that I finally get to wear my post-graduation jewellery set.
I am at Jesus yeah, Naval. Oh, we are we are heading to the main stage because apparently Foxes, one of the main acts, is about to perform. My voice is already gone because I've been screaming to music all night and dancing. I ate too much like the first hour in and I've been feeling sick for the last two hours. So I'm still trying to recover, but still trying to party hard and make the most of it. Meet up! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> How are you finding Jesus Neighbor? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's just alright, right? Just paid, you know, a little bit of money for it. Having a good time. What's been your highlight page? Meeting Gooch. Yeah, meeting Gooch. Crepes, right? <laughs> no, the waffle. Yeah, no, just the waffle ones. ones. Right. Stand out. <laughs> And that is it. We are back in the house. It is 10 to 5 in the morning and Mayball is done. We decided not to make it to the 5am survivors photo this year. We did it two years in a row and figured it wasn't worth just hanging around to appear like a tiny little ant in a photo that you will never see again. So as soon as the choir finished singing at 4.30 in the morning, we were like, right, let's beat the mad crowd, get in an Uber and head home before everybody starts leaving the ball. So I'm in. I, I don't even feel that tired. I actually feel quite, quite wide awake for the first time ever. Normally I feel really, really sick at the end of a May ball and really tired, but for some reason I'm full of energy. So I'm gonna try and get my makeup off, brush my teeth and see if I feel any sleepier and try and climb into bed and sleep through the day. But I'll see you in the morning guys and thanks for coming along to May Ball with me. I have literally just woken up and it's 1pm. Yes, you heard me right, 1pm. Because obviously I got in at about 5, went to sleep at about half 5 in the morning because of May Ball last night. And honestly it was the best time ever, I've had so much fun. My voice is like on its way out from screaming songs so much and jumping around and dancing and just having a good time. 
Um, the weather is much better today, it's 25 degrees, so hopefully gonna head out and make the most of that. But I just wanted to show you guys the program I got. I'll I'll turn the camera around in a sec and show you properly. But they handed these out like they do every year. Um, basically with an itinerary of what was on and in which part of college, what food was available, what entertainment was available throughout the night. And it's just such a cute little keepsake. And then I also had this wristband which I've decided to keep because I love having like just little mementos of things like this so I'll put that in like a memory box but it was just the most fantastic night ever and it it really made up for two years of not getting to celebrate because of Covid and it was so wonderful just to have all of my wonderful friends back in one place together. So this is the program, the theme of the ball was taking flight which is why we have this Pegasus logo here that was kind of like the icon of the whole night and it was on lots of different signs that they'd painted and on projections on the walls of the buildings and the theme actually really followed through nicely throughout college and the way they decorated it so that was nice to see this was like the main image which how amazing is this like one of the students must have designed this they must be so talented because that just looks fantastic and then this is the contents page i'll not go through the whole thing but i'll give you a rough idea of what it looked like if I can skip to C. So they had a map of the whole college and its different courts um, and they'd given them all fancy names linked to the theme so we have amongst the birds, head in the clouds, um, untethered, taking flight obviously as that was the name um, and if I just skip forwards it then breaks down each court into the different food stores you could, and drink stores you could have visited and also the main acts that were performing on each of the stages in the area so the two acts that performed this year were Foxes and Sagala if any of you know them if you don't you will definitely know their songs because their name might not ring a bell but they're so big like they always get a really big band I think in the first two Mabels I did they got the Hoosiers and Scouting for Girls which was just huge and then to have Foxes and Sagala this year it was a very different vibe but very Love Island summer party theme and it just got everyone going which was nice um, we also had an ABBA tribute, a Taylor Swift tribute, which was a lot of fun. There were dodgems, there was um, like swings that I went on and went up really high and I was screaming because I was terrified. A silent disco, if I haven't said that already. Um, the halloumi fries were, I think, my favourite food of the night. Yubba yubba donuts, waffle ones. Um, what else did I enjoy? There were tacos, um, mochi ice cream. It was just... The crepe stock was good, but the chocolate dripped out of the bottom down my dress, which was just horrendous. So I spent a lot of my night in the toilet trying to rub it out before it set in. I just didn't want the stain to be there in the morning. Um, the fellows' garden was super packed, so I didn't actually manage to get in there throughout the night. I just wanted to try the cheesy chips, to be honest, and grab a coffee because I was tired. But everyone was queuing to get there for the silent disco. And of course, as ever, we had a casino with wine and cheese which was fun so all in all it was just a fantastic night we are just getting turned around now it is nearly 3 p.m uh but obviously we were all up till like five in the morning so pretty decent turnaround time i'd say and um, we're about to head out punting which is why i'm wearing this hat it is 25 degrees in cambridge and feeling extra hot i've changed into my summer outfit so you know the good weather's here and everybody is just sun creaming up to make sure no one gets burnt and yeah, we're gonna go out for a punt, maybe grab some beers. I would quite like to get some cream soda, but every time I look, they never have any in Sainsbury's. And maybe some strawberries and just enjoy the good weather before we go out for my early birthday dinner tonight. Tim, give me an ahoy, Captain. Ahoy, Captain. <laughs> Captain. 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 Yeah. What about cheeky bit of piracy? <laughs> cheeky bit of piracy, never heard of you. Oh, well, thanks for that. You're really like, helping out the effort here. Um, just a little bit. Are you a Cambridge rower? <laughs> 
<laughs> I get a hello for the vlog. Hello for the vlog. Is that British repeating what I say? Yeah. <laughs> and little cheeky eyes, little cheeky wave. Little cheeky eyes. <laughs> Please, let's get in the bed. Aww, baby dog. Oh, did you see them yeah. speed? Oh, 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 yeah, you scared them. <laughs> oh, yeah. He couldn't just keep standing up. <laughs> We are now at Giggling Squid after the fastest turnaround ever. We arrived back at the house at 10 past 6 and I had to get the bus at 8.36. So really, really short amount of time to shower, curl my hair, do my makeup and run to the bus stop. But we have made it on time, thank goodness, bang on 7 o'clock. I didn't manage to catch it on video because it came as quite a surprise, but when I was in the restaurant, the staff did come over carrying a dessert and singing happy birthday to me. So big thank you to my friends for arranging that. And then we came back to the house and did more desserts because my friends got me a carrot cake again this year. As you guys know, it's my favorite cake. And we did presents, but it was just a quiet night in because we were all quite tired from Mabel. So I had an early night and I hope you've enjoyed my Mabel slash birthday vlog. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!